Note Burling's reaction when he finds out that there is an inspector, questioning an inspector, what kind of inspector, emphasising the fact that he is nervous. When Edin responds, a police inspector, he says his name's Inspector Gould. It's important to note the nomenclature of his name. This will be explored later on. Then if we skip down to, I'm still on the bench, it may be something about a warrant. Here we see him attempting to downplay the situation, but also his pomposity. Taking this opportunity to reinforce to Gerald how high up he is in terms of class. Then Gerald says, according to the stage directions, lightly, sure to be, unless Eric's been up to something, nodding confidentially to Burling, and that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Here we can see that there is a fond relationship between Gerald and, Mrs. and Mr Burling. Perhaps he is the son he wishes he had. We can see the private joke here, but there's also proleptic or anticipated irony. We can see the easy camaraderie between these men. Then Eric, and we are told by the stage directions, is uneasy and sharp and responds sharply, Here, what do you mean? Here, you can see that this is quite suspicious behaviour, which lets the audience know that he is in fact up to something or has some sort of involvement that could possibly bring scandal upon the family. Note again the fact that the stage directions then indicate that he is still uneasy. Then Burling we are told, sharply staring at him, says, What's the matter with you? We can see that Burling and Gerald are very calm, whereas Eric is not, contrasting the, the three characters, juxtaposing them and creating tension. We can also see the age gap here. Again note the inspector's entrance. The inspector enters and Edna goes, closing the door after her. The inspector need not be a big man, but he creates at once an impression of massiveness, solidity and purposefulness. He is a man in his fifties, dressed in a plain, darkish suit of the period. He speaks carefully, weightily and has a disconcerting habit of looking hard at the person he addresses before actually speaking. Here you can see that he gets attention and commands respect. We see that he means business. He's very serious and not light-hearted. This is important because later on we are told that he is methodical and systematic and these initial stage directions that introduce him reinforce this. The stage directions for the inspector are incredibly significant. Note the fact that we were told at the very beginning that when the inspector enters the lighting changes too. Here the change in lighting is important because it emphasises how intimidating he is. Note the rule of three that shows him to be in control, as well as the adjectival phrase and powerful adjectives that emphasise his forcefulness. As soon as the inspector enters, Mr Burling addresses him politely. Note the fact that he offers him a glass of port or whisky. But the inspector responds with, no thank you Mr Burling, I'm on duty. Here we can see that he is serious about his job and he will not be easily swayed by Burling. Burling begins at once intimidation tactics, but we can see that the inspector will not be swayed by this. Note the fact that he begins with the question, you're new, aren't you, to attempt to undermine the inspector. The inspector, however, responds in an unfazed manner, yes sir, only recently transferred. Note Burling's dismissive tone when he then responds with, I thought you must be. I was an alderman for years and Lord Mayor two years ago and I'm still on the bench. So I know the Brumley police officers pretty well and I thought I'd never seen you before. Here, the use of pause or sejura emphasises his dismissive tone. He wants to state who he is and play important and use his class and his status to manipulate the inspector. This betrays him as quite a pompous character. I thought I'd never seen you before is important because here we can see he is attempting to assert his authority. This is one of his intimidation tactics, but the inspector does not react how he wants him to, responding with quite so, emphasising that he is not easily impressed, especially by Burling's supposed status. <laughs> 